Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I have the part 14 of the top 10 city tweaks compatible with iOS 10 up to iOS 10.2. So I hope you guys enjoyed. AppCon. This is a pretty dope tweak which allows you to set any of your images as the icon of an app. So all you have to do is just send the apps to the edit mode and just tap on one of them and you can see now you can go to your photo library and you can set any of your images as the icon of that app so you go to one of your images let's pick an image here so let's pick this here you can crop it you can resize it okay i think this is good click save here and now you can see here that app will have that image as the icon this is pretty cool and if you want to reset the icon just click there click reset and it will reset it to the original and see matters 9 this is a widget for the lock screen and also for the notification center of your device and it will show you some very useful informations about your device so after you install the tweak you need to go to your notification center or to your lock screen and just click edit here and just add that widget and now here you will have nc matters 9 and here you have the percentage of the usage of your cpu you have your ram memory your free space and also the speed of the current download and upload on your device a faker this tweak gives you a lot of options to fake stuff on your device so for example you can set a fake battery percentage so here you can see I have 1%, if I disable it you can see here 63 is the real percentage of the battery. You can also set here a custom carrier and you have also app faker. So what this does is that you go to hide list, here you can hide any of your apps or you go to open faker list and here you can set, you can see here a list of your apps. So if you go to one of them you can set like a passcode for this app so if I tap 22 here click ok now what I have to do is just go to the phone dialer click 22 click call and it will open that app Delta X this is a very useful tweak for the photos app now sometimes when you give your phone to someone to take a look at a picture they will swipe left or right into your pictures and you don't want them to do that so this tweak will help you out so all you have to do is you want to show someone a picture you just tap and hold that picture and click here only look and now you can see it's locked you can see it says please do not swipe and they won't be able to swipe left or right if they will be stuck here and you will have to double tap to dismiss that cal switch 10 this is a pretty cool tweak which allows you to open an app by clicking on the icon of another app so under the settings of this tweak you have an enable here then you go here to filters and here you can create these filters so you can tap here to add a new filter you go to it you enable it here and then you go to application one so you choose the application that you want to tap so let me choose here the calculator so when i tap the calculator it will open application two so let's choose an application here let's choose the clock and then if we go back you can see now if i go to the home screen i click on the calculator it will open the clock app B green this tweak allows you to change the format of how the percentage of the battery is displayed on the status bar of your device as you can see to right here so under settings you have an enable button then you have low power mode display so you can choose how it displays when your device is on low battery then you have charging arrow display so if you go here you can pick one of these arrows and it will show them right at the percentage of the battery when you're charging your device and then if you go lower here you have battery percentage format and here you can change the format of the battery percentage that shows here on the status bar so you can choose the number here without the percentage you can choose the number in words here or the million powers you have different formats to pick from and apply them to the status bar blur touch clean this is a simple tweak all it does is that it removes the blurry background from the 3d touch menu so when you go to the 3d touch menu of any of your apps you won't have that blurry background to install it you will need to add a repo which you can find in the description color me badge this tweak allows you to colorize the badges of your icons so you can see here i have a green badge with a black font and you can change that to any color you want you can also set them to be the same color as the app's icon so if you go to the settings of this tweak you enable it here then you go to app badge so here you have all the different badges so you have folder badges special badges and all that stuff so let's go to the app badges and you can set here so i have fixed color here you can set like boover which is the one that 
will change the color of the badge to the color of the icon and you have different configurations here and here you can pick the color of the badge so you go here and you can pick any color that you want for the badges of your device no ls padlock what this tweak does is that it removes the padlock from the lock screen so on the status bar here when your device is locked you will see the padlock but this tweak will remove it slices this is a tweak for the social media apps and it allows you to log in with more than one account on all of your social media apps so you enable it here and then you have applications and here you can choose in which of your apps you want to enable it so here you go to one of your apps and then you have default slices here so you can set the default slice and then you can add more slices so just go ahead here and create a new slice so let's just create one and then when you want to open that app so let's just click let's enable there ask on touch and when you want to open that app it will ask you with which account so you have here you have the default and then you have the new slice so you can choose with which account you want to enter that app so you can have different accounts for the same app so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this week's for more videos like this make sure you subscribe also leave a like in this video as it helps out a lot and go ahead and follow me on my social media you will find all the links in the description of this video